Hey everyone, and in this video, I'll be walking through a few different ways you can get ExpressVPN on a smart TV or game console. Whether that's a PlayStation, Xbox, or even a Roku or older TV without native VPN support. Because unlike phones or laptops, most of these devices don't let you install a VPN app directly. But there are a few workarounds that work really well, and I'll go over the main ones so you can pick whichever setup works best for your home. Now just a quick heads up, if you do end up choosing ExpressVPN, I'll include any discount links or deals I can find down in the description, so feel free to check those out if you'd like to save a bit. So the first method, and probably the most comprehensive, is installing ExpressVPN directly on your router. What this does is protect everything on your network automatically, including any smart TVs or consoles that can't run a VPN on their own. To do this, you'll first want to make sure your router actually supports VPN connections. You can usually find that out by logging into your router's admin panel or checking the manual. Most newer routers are good to go, but if yours isn't compatible, there's still an easy option that I'll mention in just a moment. Once that's sorted, you'll go into your ExpressVPN account, head over to the setup section, and choose manual configuration. From there, just pick your desired server location and download the config files. Then back in your router settings, you'll upload those files and enter your ExpressVPN login info. And that's it. From that point on, any device that connects to your Wi-Fi will automatically be protected by ExpressVPN. And if your router doesn't support this kind of setup, or if you just want something easier, ExpressVPN actually makes their own router called called the AirCove. It comes with everything pre-installed, supports features like split tunneling and device groups, and just works right out of the box. So that's a great option if you want to skip the manual setup altogether. Now one thing to keep in mind is that all devices connected to the router will use the same VPN location. Some advanced routers let you separate this out per device, but that does take a bit more configuration. Now if you'd rather not mess with your router, the second method is to share your VPN connection through a Windows PC or a Mac. This basically turns your computer computer into a VPN powered hotspot and anything that connects to it will use the VPN automatically. So starting with Windows, the first thing you'll do is connect to a VPN server using the ExpressVPN app. Let's say you pick a server in Madrid, for example. Then go into your PC settings and enable the mobile hotspot feature. It's under Network and Internet, and you'll see an option to share your connection over Wi-Fi. Next, you'll want to make sure it's sharing the correct connection, which should be listed as something like ExpressVPN Tap Adapter or Lightway. You can double check that in the Network Connections menu. Just right click on your VPN adapter, go to Properties, and under the Sharing tab, enable sharing and select your hotspot connection from the list. From there, you can rename the hotspot, set a password, and once that's saved, your PC is now a VPN hotspot. Anything that connects to it, whether it's a console or a smart TV, will be using your ExpressVPN connection automatically. Now for Mac users, it works a little differently. You'll want to connect your Mac to the internet using an Ethernet cable first, which frees up your Wi-Fi to be used for the hotspot. Then go to System Settings under Sharing and enable Internet Sharing. Then in the Configuration window, you'll share your Ethernet connection over Wi-Fi. Set a name and password for the network, turn on internet sharing, and then connect to ExpressVPN like you normally would. Once it's all running, any device that joins your Mac's Wi-Fi will get the same VPN protection. So whether you're using a PC or Mac, this method works great if you don't want to touch your router but still want your console or TV to benefit from the VPN. Now if all you're really trying to do is unlock region-specific content, like getting US Netflix or BBC iPlayer, but you don't necessarily need full VPN encryption, ExpressVPN also has a feature called Media Streamer. This is basically a smart DNS service that helps you access geoblocked streaming content on devices like consoles and older smart TVs. It doesn't provide the same encryption or IP masking as a full VPN, but for just streaming, it works really well. To set it up, just log into your ExpressVPN account and go to the DNS settings section. From there, you'll register your IP address and copy the DNS server addresses that Express provides. Then on your device, like a PlayStation or Xbox, head into the network settings, choose to manually set up your internet connection, and when you get to the DNS section, enter the two media streamer addresses from earlier. Once that's saved, your console will be able to access streaming services as if it were located in the region you selected. Again, it's not full VPN protection, but if your main goal is streaming and you want the easiest option possible, this method can be a great choice. So hopefully you found this guide helpful, especially if you're trying to get ExpressVPN working on a device that doesn't support apps directly. And again, all the setup links and current discounts are down in the description if you want to check those out. And if you have any questions or need help getting set up, feel free to leave a comment below. I always do my best to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.